Officer Ramirez stared out the front window of the house, into the near woods, keeping a close eye on their van. The hell's the matter with people? He said over the radio. Building a house by itself, out here, in the middle of the woods of batshit nowhere? <laughs> people were just asking to get killed. The idle chat continued. No one saw as she clamped her hand swiftly over Officer Jameson's mouth and pulled his ribs through his back, leaving his body limp in the backyard. Yeah, man. It, it's a real wonder one of them even lived long enough to get to the phone. Two officers with pistols stood in the master bedroom near the front of the house. One looked around for evidence, and another stood in the front room with a shotgun. The one looking around was the first to scream. The one from the front room and one of Ramirez's partners sprinted to the blood-curdling cries. They stumbled upon the gruesome scene. She stood there, over the decapitated and overall mutilated corpse of Officer Jensen. Her flesh was burned, rough and dark red and black. Bloodied claws extended six inches from her fingertips. The officers met her with a hail of lead. As each projectile struck, her flesh simultaneously burst into flames and mended itself with remarkable speed. They only had time to utter a shortened yell as the slice of her claws through the air silenced them. Ramirez sat there, trembling in fear. She walked through the door slowly, her red irises glinting in the light. She strolled across the room menacingly. She smiled tracing the back of her fingers across his cheek. Screaming, rather than surrender to the beast, he threw himself through the window, shattering the lower half of his right leg on impact. He rolled onto his back and pointed the magnum revolver toward the front door. Crawling backwards, he made his way toward the van. Then someone touched his neck from behind. His last sight was a set of black claws covering his eyes.